Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name is Michaela. What I have behind me for you guys this morning is a brand new 2024 Cimarron Lone Star. This one is your stock combo version with a dual tack. So one of my favorite tack setups. I know I always say that, but I love these ones. I'm gonna run you through this trailer. A few things I want you to know before we get started is this is a Cimarron, which is a full aluminum construction. So these are a full aluminum trailer, no steel frame on this guy. Being a brand new Cimarron, you're looking at an eight year structure warranty and actually a three year hitch to bumper warranty. So the longest warranty on the market today, driving down the road with this brand new Cimarron. So really cool stuff there. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull up the drawing and look at your dimensions before we get to the trailer itself. This stock combo is a 24 foot on the floor, very manageable floor length there. You're looking at your standard width of 610 wide, your standard height of 71 tall. That dual tack is going to have that five foot six inch short wall on there. So pretty big front tack up there. The remaining is your stock space. You guys will see those two dividers back there. You've got that one stud stall, which we'll look at leaving you about three foot three inches off the floor. That second gate back there, six feet, six inches, and the rest is all stock space. So we'll go ahead and get to the trailer here. Take a look at it now that you've seen that drawing. So this is our dual tack RTG model. So it's still your ready to go simmer on front tack package, but it is the dual tack. So it's gonna be the same thing on both sides. This is my personal favorite tack setup. I know they do a lot of cool tack setups. This one's my favorite just because of the versatility. Being able to access it from both sides just gives you so much more options to work with. I mean, you just there's a lot of different things you could encounter no matter where you park. So if you're rodeoing, you're at the ranch, you're trail riding, anything like that, you could end up parking next to a ditch, next to another horse that has, or next to another trailer that has a horse tied there that maybe likes to kick or get too close to yours. You are parked next to some boulders up at a trailhead. You just never know what you're gonna have to park next to and what your parking situation is. So this option now gives you the, this trailer now gives you the option to access your tack room from both sides. So that is one of my favorite things. Also, if you're hauling with someone or you have a friend or a significant other, now you each have your own side of your tack room. Each side is gonna look the same. So each side you're gonna have your extra large 42 inch door opening. This is, we get a lot of great feedback on this door. I have one on my Cimarron. It's really nice, you guys. Huge space getting in and out of your tack room, even when your saddles are swung out. On this door, you're gonna have your sliding bus window and then your saddle pad bars right here. So these saddle pad bars are on that gas shock, same as our saddle rack, so you can pull them out. My door is on that hold back right now, so I can do this with one hand. Go ahead and pull it out, get your pads on and off of there. Plenty of space on these bars to put multiple pads to if you need to do that, layer them up. I ride with two pads on my horse. He's got a liner and then he's got a five star on top of that. So he does have two pads. So each of mine will have those two pads there. Plenty of space here. Again, it's on that gas shock. So when you're done with it, tuck it back in there. That gas shock is gonna hold it up against that door without any other parts here that will interfere with your being able to use it. So right now you could use it even this way and come over here and be able to slide your pads on and off without any interference, which is really nice to be able to do that. And then your brush tray, you'll have this on both doors as well. Extra deep, extra wide, and it has those two partitions in there. So it gives you three compartments. You guys, you can fit a ton of stuff in here. I actually only have mine probably half full right now. And I've got all my mane and tail detangler, my fly spray, all my brushes, my rubber bands, my mane and tail bands, hoof picks, anything that I need for my horses just right there out of my trailer. And it's only half full. So tons of space in there, you guys. Stepping up into your front tack room, we have a fold down step. This is not standard, this is an upgrade. You guys will see it on every single one of our trailers. And so it is standard when we build our trailers for inventory. It is not standard if you're looking at building your own. So no, that is an upcharge very well worth it. I personally do not have one on my Cimarron. Mine is that 610 wide. So all I have is this full length running board running all the way up here. I will tell you guys, it does make a big difference. Doesn't seem like a whole lot when it's only a couple inches here, but when you are stepping in and out of it all the time, if you're carrying stuff, this just extra couple inches lower gives you so much better access getting in and out of there. So that is something I definitely wish I had on mine. And then your swing out saddle right here on that same gas shock. It's gonna swing all your saddles out here. You're gonna have three on each side with this trailer. 
Know that these are fully adjustable right here on this swing out saddle rack here. You can actually slide these up and down. You're just gonna loosen your bolts here top and bottom. There's one underneath as well, right under here. They're very easy to do though. Just loosen it up just a little bit. You guys can slide these up and down wherever you need to. You can actually get one or two more on here depending on what you guys need. I have a customer right now that's gonna be adding two more to hers. So she'll have five on her rear tack. And then these saddle racks right here are my favorite saddle racks. You guys will see a lot of different um, features on other competitors' saddle racks. These ones I've used every other brand out there. These are by far my favorite. One being the carpeting adds that grip factor. And then two being your wither block right here. It is a custom extrusion that Cimarron owns. They've actually designed this trial and error, found out what works best. And this wither block here is going to set up into the gullet of your saddle and just give that saddle that stability that it needs, just kind of like your horse's withers, so it's not sliding off and ending up on the floor as you drive down the road. These are very high quality, my favorite ones out there. And the fact that you can kind of adjust them wherever you need to, if you have English saddles or barrel saddles or cutters with those tall horns versus your ropers with the smaller horns, never a bad idea to be able to do whatever you want with your trailer, make it work for you guys. This one here is the rubber mat on the floor. We can do carpet, we can do this rubber mat, or we can do gray rubber tread flooring. This one's the rubber mat, makes it really easy to sweep up, or if you have a battery operated handheld vacuum too, that works great, or a blower, you just blow it all out one side if you have these two doors. Makes it real easy to keep clean. We'll start at our drop wall here, fully carpeted. Down low, you have your boot box here, kind of like a half to three quarter width here. Looks like our 12 inch boot box on this guy. So tons of storage space inside of there. I have one in my trailer, mine's a full width one, but I only end up using like a third of it right now. You have all your extra winter blankets, your sheets, your fly sheets during the off season, your magnetic sheets, therapeutic sheets, all that stuff I have shoved in there. Works great to get stuff contained up off the floor, out of sight. Also works as a bench if you need to change your clothes, change your boots. Also works as a step up into your nose. So if you need to climb up in here, I actually just moved, so I have a ton of household items up in my nose right now that I'll be taking out when I finish moving into my house. Also works great for extra blankets and stuff up there. I've got camping chairs up there if you're gonna go to a rodeo or horse show and hang out. But having the carpet up there is really nice because it will kind of help things stick up there. Again, I moved, I had cardboard boxes up here all the way to the end, got to my new house and nothing had shifted. So that was really nice to know and be able to tell you guys from personal experience also tons of room to sleep up in here and you do have that sliding bus window on both sides so if you did need to spend the night up in your rodeo or horse show or a trail ride you have the ability to get some ventilation get some airflow through here carpet makes it real nice to spend some time up in there up here on this side you'll see this little shelf up here this shelf is for your plexiglass so being a stock combo you're going to have that plexiglass on both sides this is your storage tray for that now that's gonna keep it up out of the way, kind of a, a dead space up here that wouldn't be used for anything else. So you're not losing any storage space there, you're actually gaining storage space. Now it's not gonna get cracked or broken. Just make sure when you pull them out, you stick them in order. So that way when you pull them out to put them back in, it's a lot easier for you guys. And then our same dual tack over here, which we'll check out when we get to the head side. But right now we're gonna work our way back to this partition wall, get that one out of our way. Fully carpeted partition wall is one of my favorite upgrades to do it talk all my customers into this just because it is prolonging the life of your trailer but also whatever you store up against here my trailer has this feature I love it so when I store stuff or I'm moving houses and I put all my boxes up against this wall here I actually have a, a cooler in here as well so when the cooler rubs up against here it's not damaging your trailer it's not leaving those black streaks that you would see if it were just aluminum there and it's protecting your stuff as well you're gonna have two full rows of bridle hooks a high and a low so tons of hanging space right here for all those bridles, halters, nose bands, all that good stuff. Protecting, but then for here, it's also deadening the noise on the other side of this wall. So whatever horse or livestock you have over there, it makes the ride a lot nicer and a lot quieter. In our little dead space corner back here, we have our high country water tank. It does fill from the top and then you have your spigot down below. You guys will see underneath your shelf there, you have a 10 foot hose. So that is really great with how long it is. Hook it up to that spigot there, run it out your door, and now you have the ability to fill water buckets, wash off your boots, you could even wash off your horses, wash off your dogs, whatever you need to have 
use for that water, you have 10 feet of hose to get it out that door and use it however you need to. It does have great pressure. I know it is just gravity flow right here, but I will tell you again, I have one in my trailer. I've used it and it will fill buckets faster than my horse can drink, which is saying something that's very impressive. So I'm very happy with that, especially if you have a picky drinker that needs water from home. Now you have water on board. Um, up at a trailhead, they don't have hydrants or spigots for you guys. Lots of options for having that water there. As we finish over here, we have our shelf, our 18 inch deep. It's got a two inch lip here. It does have rubber mat down there in the bottom. So it does add some grip and some protectant in there. This space works really great for hat cans, whatever else you need to store up here. That lip is just gonna pre prevent stuff from sliding off. And then underneath you have your clothes bar. I use this hanging space for all my rodeo shirts. When I moved, I actually hung up my whole closet up here. Tons of space on this clothes bar. And then when I'm not moving and I'm actually using my trailer, I, if I run out of bridle hooks over here, I can actually hang those bridle hooks that hang on a fence rail right here and have even more hanging space for bridles. And it hangs out here far enough. It's not interfering with your wall right here. And I've never had that thing fall off either. So even more hanging space right there. And just a tip, if you guys need more room, as we exit, we have an OptiBrite LED light up here. We've got one over each door. So now you have that visibility inside of your trailer and we'll see it outside here as well. So again, that is your RTG. You're ready to go. Front tack package by Cimarron and it's your dual tack. Working our way back to the hip side right here. I just talked about visibility. Here's your 16 inch awning light up there. So now you have your visibility over your tie rings right here off of your tack room. And I mentioned that plexiglass being a stock trailer. Here's your plexiglass right here. Super cool thing about these Cimarron's and how you get this plexiglass out is right here. You have this little cutout in your aluminum. So now all you need to do is grab a flathead screwdriver or a pocket knife, or if you can do it with your fingers, get some separation in there. And then you're just going to slide these out. Once you get that separation, I can't do it with my fingers. Um, and then you're just gonna slide those out. Again, make sure you take them out in somewhat of an order so that you can stick them. We recommend that blue masking tape. Just tape all your lower ones together, tape all your uppers together, and then stick them in that storage tray that we saw in there. So that way when you put them back in, it makes your life a whole lot easier. And then we have your tie rings down here. So that way you're not having to tie to your upright posts in there. You have your tie rings right here. If you guys do need more, our shop can add those. Working our way down, we have two 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles on this one with your black spoke aluminum rims. The black spoke is always a nice touch with any color sheeted trailer. I especially like it with the white. With your lion's head tires, you are gonna get a one year, no questions asked for replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance. So great warranties there combined with your Cimarron manufacturer warranties. Really great protection package when you are purchasing new. We'll work our way back around to our stock space back here. So on this trailer, we went ahead and did two of your 50-50 doors back here. We kind of, we do get to personally order all of our inventory however we want it. So we build these trailers before we order them. We will order them all different. So some of them will have that full single rear gate if you guys are looking. And then this one here, we've optioned with our two 50-50 doors. So if you are just using it for horses or if you need to load cattle and you kind of want half of that separated, I know you guys will prefer that single rear gate with a slider in it. This can kind of mimic that if you get that one shut and now you have your smaller space here to run them in and out with. Up top, as you're loading in and out, you do have an eight inch awning light up there into your step up here. And I know you guys, we saw it in that drawing at the beginning of the video, but this stock space is set up a little bit different knowing that our customers will likely use us for both horses and cattle, or if they just use it for horses but need a couple dividers and then the rest of stock space. Again, just versatility with these trailers. This one's really cool. So you've got your center gate here, which we saw in the drawing is six foot six inches back from your partition wall. So you have your space for two horses up here. And then from here on back, you can load horses. Just depends on the size. And if you're loading with or without saddles and tack on them, it's going to be hard to judge from the video, but I will say if you're looking at two bigger horses fully saddled, you're going to fit your two right here. If you have a couple, a little bit smaller horses, if you're not running them with tack on them, you can definitely fit three in here pretty easily. 
And then as you tie them up, we have a full length tie rail, so you can actually utilize that and tie them wherever you need to. If you do need to separate them out a little bit, you can do that. But I wanna show you guys this center gate here and how this works. It's very easy to flip that paddle open. And then as it comes over here, it actually has this little shelf down here that it's gonna sit on top of, which is just gonna help prevent it from rattling around so much when you are using this as an open stock space. And then just protects your hinges as well, makes them last a little bit longer. So you're just gonna slide that onto the shelf there. And then your AR latch right here is just gonna pop into place like that so it's really easy to use you don't i mean all you gotta do is just throw it open shove it up against this wall and now it's staying put so now you can use this as a wide open stock space if you are looking at tying more in here if you are looking at tying them head to tail if you're running this as a cattle trailer or if you got other loose livestock in here maybe you're running some more of those fergies that we saw in our last video you could fit tons of them in here if you are moving works great for that as well but then up here we have our stud divider. So this one's gonna be that three foot three inch back from your partition wall. That's kind of what our standard is for a single horse space is that three foot three inches. So you'll have that there, you'll have that here, and then the rest is open stock. But this stud wall works really great as a dual purpose. If you are looking for storage space in here, you have your access door, your access gate off of this stud wall. So now you can use this for storage if you don't need it for a horse. Obviously you can also use it for a horse, but we'll check it out more once we get to our head side there. And then just so you guys are aware right now, this divider will not clip open flat up against this one. If you are looking for that option, I would recommend talking to our shop and seeing what they could do there. But also you can run it as your stock trailer from the stud wall back. So as we exit, we're going to check out our roof up here on these Simrons. This is standard. This is a fully insulated roof. It is all one material. So it's going to be that same white up on top, which is really great because it does reflect the sun being that white color. It has an R3 thermal value. So you're looking at 20 degrees warmer in the winter, 20 degrees cooler in the summer back here. Also great dent resistant to hail. So it's very durable. You can actually climb up there, jump up and down just knowing that it adds that structural integrity to your trailer is great, but then also the insulating factor is really cool. It is a honeycomb fiberglass type material, super durable, standard on all Simrons. And then we have our two OptiBrite LEDs in here as well. So now you guys have your visibility in here, your tack room, your load light, and then you're above your tie rails. And then as we step out, I'll show you guys the floor in these Simrons really quick. Again, full aluminum construction, which I mentioned earlier, you're getting a full aluminum floor as well. This one has our rubber mats on top. We can pull these out and send it down to Competition RV and get some warm flooring in here for you guys too, if you're looking for that. If you're building a trailer, we can do that down at Cimarron as part of the build process. But underneath that full aluminum floor, if we were to crawl under there, you guys will see that we have V-shaped trusses on our Cimarrons, a little bit stronger and more durable than our regular rectangular trusses. And these cross members are every four inches. So the most durable floor on the market gives me a lot of peace of mind running my horses on these Simrons, knowing whenever they jump in here, they're jumping up onto a support beam or a truss underneath there. I encourage you guys to crawl under your trailers at home and check out the flooring under your portional trailers. Check out those trusses, see how far apart your cross member spacing is, and then check out these Simrons as well. So over on our head side here, it looks very similar to our hip side. We've got another awning light over here. Our same plexiglass with our cutouts for ease of removal. No tools required, except for maybe that screwdriver or pocket knife to get in there. Got your same tie rings over here. Same lion's head tires and our black spoke aluminum wheels down here. The only thing different that I was excited to show you guys about over here is that access gate, which we just talked about inside. So I have it open for you guys here. It does have our butterfly latch on it right there. But there's that space I was mentioning earlier behind your stud wall that could work as storage if you're needing that extra storage without having mangers or a hay rack. I know you've got tons of space up in that dual tack, but if you're looking for more of a dirty tack setup, if you wanna throw stuff back here that you don't want up in that nice clean tack room, dressing room setup, such as um, like pitchforks, brooms, extra, water buckets, muck tubs, grain bags, hay, extra shavings, anything like that that you want 
more in that dirty space. This space works really great for that. If you do need it for a horse, it does have a chest bar on there. So if you are opening this gate with a horse in there, they're not gonna come jumping out. Just a safety factor right there. But extra storage if you guys are looking for that. I know mine is full. I never get to utilize that space because it is all storage. And then up here finishing at our other side of our dual tack again you guys are going to see the same setup we saw over there so our same 42 inch door here with our bus window on it and then we have our saddle pads i don't have this one on a hold back so i have to use my extra hand there but same saddle pads there we've got our brush tray down here our step up into the front tack and then we'll have three more saddle racks that swing out on this side again you guys can add more or you can just kind of slide them up and down where you need them but again, you can add more if you need to. But now you guys can see that each side is the exact same. So if you are hauling with a hauling partner, if you do have a significant other, if you're a trainer, you have your students with you, now everyone can have their own side and just know that your horses go on one side, theirs go on the other. Or as we talked about earlier, maybe you just don't know where you're gonna end up parking. Maybe you don't want your horse to get kicked by a neighbor, but now you can easily walk through with that fold down step to the other side, grab your saddles, and tie up on this side if you need to. So one thing about these Cimarron's, if we had drop down windows, it would be the same there. But with these front tacks, we do recommend slamming them shut. They are very airtight seals. They're meant to be slammed. Just make sure you're putting pressure at your door. All of our hinges on our Cimarron's, even the drop down windows, when you see those on those horse trailers, have grease certs on both ends. Inside, it's actually a spiral mechanism so that when you add the grease, and they'll work the door back and forth. It will spiral all the way through that hinge. Keep it nice and lubricated for you guys. As we work our way up, our drop wall right here is 53 inches on the Cimarron's standard. It used to be like right around 47. Lately, it's turned to more of that 50 inch for your standard. This one we call it extreme four x four clearance. It's the 53 inches. You're gonna see that on all of our runaround trailers here, just not the LQs. On all runarounds, we're gonna have that 53 inch drop wall. It's gonna give you guys tons of bed rail clearance right here. We're gonna want probably at least six to eight inches to clear those newer trucks bed rails. Now we can do that without having to run your trailer nose up to get you that clearance. Now it's gonna run level down the road. Tons of extra clearance here. All we did was take three inches out of this space right here, but I bet you guys didn't even notice inside because there's still so much room. I personally do, I have mine on a flat bed, so it doesn't make as much of a difference for me, but I have that same 53 inch drop wall and running on anyone else's truck. I just know that I can get to where I'm going. My friends have actually borrowed it and put it on their trucks and it runs perfectly level. This trailer has been upgraded with your electric jack right here. So with that electric jack, you're getting an aluminum battery box. It does lock, so you can actually lock this. But inside you'll notice we have one battery in this battery box with a disconnect switch. That's really nice so that you don't accidentally leave a light on and drain your battery. Just make sure the last thing you do when you walk away from your trailer is just flip that switch to off, kill all the power. So now next time when you go to hook up your trailer, you're gonna have power to that jack. If something were to happen, you forget to use that, you accidentally leave a light on, you drain your battery. This can still be operated manually with this handle right here so it comes in its own special home over there and you can actually crank your jack up and down manually using this so if something does happen in case of emergency you can still use your jack and hook on or unhook your trailer being your 610 wide we did have to bump that spare tire up to make room for the jack i personally like it up here the best i think it gets it out of the way from all that splashback it keeps it a little bit cleaner for you guys it is a full size matching spare tire as well. So that's kind of what we got going on with this Cimarron. Again, I'll run you back through real quick. It is that 2024 Cimarron Lone Star 24 foot combo with your dual tack RTG model. And you're gonna have that stud wall and that center gate on this one. Eight year structure warranty, three year hitch to bumper, and then those lion's head tires get you even more coverage. If you guys are interested in this trailer, the description of this video will have the web link. You guys can also go on our website and use our stock number reference right there. That is 5N240113. That will take you to the webpage. You guys can see that drawing. You can see some photos. You can reference this video. 
If you have any more questions, you want one just like this in a different color, let me know. I'm glad to help you guys out. Again, my name is Michaela. My cell phone is 303-918-6367. Please call or text my email, Michaela, period, guys at transwest.com. All that's going to be on your screen. So feel free to come back and find that later as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking that out with me. And I look forward to helping you guys out. Have a great rest of your week.